What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to look at how to recognize fractions using pictures and amounts and learn what a fraction is. So let's waste no time. Let's go. Okay, so what do we need to remember for this lesson? We need to remember that a fraction is just a part of a whole. So for example, if we had this whole apple here, a fraction would be when we cut it into equal parts. So here we have half on this side and half on that side. But there's lots of different fractions that we can make. Let's start by looking at half. Now this looks a bit of a fancy way of showing a fraction, doesn't it? With this one on the top and two on the bottom. So let's learn what that means. Well, the number on the bottom, we call this the denominator. And what that tells us, it tells us how many our half has been cut into. So if we look back to our apple, it means that we had our whole apple and we've cut it into two equal pieces. And then the number on the top, the numerator, that tells us how many pieces we're looking at. So we're looking at this one piece here. Therefore, this pink shaded area is one half. So if we imagine a number line, I've got a very small part of my number line here, starting with zero and going to one. But remember, our number line could go on forever this way, and it could also go on forever into the negative numbers. This is a very small part of our number line. Half is actually right in the middle here of our zero and one. Because if you think about our apple again, if we had no halves, that would mean we had zero. And then if I had one half, that would mean that I'm in the middle and I have one half. Or if I had two halves, that would be the same as saying I have one. But obviously circles are not the only way we can show half. If we look at our square here, I could show half by cutting a line down the middle. That would show that I have half on either side. Or what I could do is I could cut my line diagonally to diagonally and I would have one half on either side. Or what I could do is I could cut my square in half and half again, and I could say that you have this square and this square. Well, that's also showing half, isn't it? You have half of the squares that are available. Or our final way of looking at what half is, is we can look at half of an amount. And in this case, we have an amount of marbles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marbles. We want to try and find half of them. So the way I want to think of it is, all of these marbles together is one group of marbles. If I'm going to split them in half, I need to make two piles. And I can make two piles by simply cutting down this line here and having two equal piles of four. Let's check. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So half of my eight marbles here would be this four right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have you clicked that subscribe button yet? If you've not, what are you doing? Do it now. Go on, press it. Do it. Thank you. Okay, but let's look at another fraction. This is another fraction that we should get familiar with. This is the fraction one quarter. And let's remember what we need to do. The denominator, the number at the bottom, tells us how many I'm going to split my whole into. So I have my whole apple, but I'm going to split it into four, because that's what my denominator tells me to. And then my numerator, the number on the top, tells me how many I have. And I have one quarter. So I have one little section up here. And again, looking at my square, I could do this in a number of different ways. I could cut down the middle and then through the middle and give myself one quarter. Or I could go from the diagonal corners and give myself one quarter like that. There's lots of different ways I could make this shape into quarters. Looking on my number line, I would have to see that my zero is here, my one is here, so therefore one half is in the middle like we saw in the last slide. So where does one quarter fit? Well, we can see that one quarter is like saying half of a half. This was my half, all of this side here, and one quarter is half of half again. 
So one quarter would go halfway between my zero and my half. Or if I'm trying to find one quarter of these marbles, I can see that I have eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when we have this group of eight marbles, if I want to find a quarter, I've got to split them into four equal groups. And I can see that I can do that by putting two together. That would be one group, two groups, three groups, and four groups. So one quarter would be two marbles. Our last fraction that we would like to try and learn is what one third is. And again, it's the same principle. All it means is that we've cut our whole into three. And there's a fancy way of doing this with our pizza. We can cut down from the top into the middle and then split out to the sides. That gives me even one third. And I can see that one third is valued like this. So it's more than a quarter, but not as much as half. If I'm doing that with my square, I can make three equal columns and have one third colored in green. And on my number line, one third means that I've split my one into three. So I would have one section, two sections, and three equal sections, meaning that the green section is worth one third. And a third of my balls means that I'm putting them into three equal piles. And three equal piles here means that I have three in each. This fraction is a little different. This fraction has a different numerator. Now I have a three on my numerator. So this fraction says three quarters. So it means that I've split my whole into quarters. But this time, rather than looking at just one quarter, which would look like that, I need three of them. This would be two, and then three quarters. And again, with my square, cutting it into quarters, or four, and then I'd have one, two, three of them. On my number line, I'd have to remember that this is my half. One quarter would be over here. So therefore, if I have one quarter, the next section would be two quarters, and then the next section would be three quarters. So three quarters would come all the way to my gold line here. What if I wanted to find three quarters of an amount? Well, in this case, I have nine marbles. Well, in this case, I have eight marbles. So to find three quarters, I need to put them into four equal groups again. So I've got one, two, three, four equal groups. But three quarters would be one, two, three of those groups which is six marbles. So three quarters is another really important fraction to understand. Let's look at what to remember. Fractions are an equal part of a whole. We can find fractions of a number, shape, or even a quantity. And there are three fractions, that's meant to say you, should recognize one half, one quarter, one third, and then if you're super smart, you might want to start recognizing three quarters, two. And there you have it. This is how to recognize fractions and learn what they are. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, share it with a friend of yours that you think would also benefit from this video. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.